Hey friends, we are still not employed by a FANG company. So let's solve some lead code problems today. Um, essentially, we are going to do a lead code easy problem, which is best time to buy and sell stocks. Uh, this is a really easy problem, but it is really interesting problem to understand some concepts regarding array and the array traversal. So let's start by uh, first of all understanding the problem. Uh, basically, we are given an array of prices and uh, in the given array, uh, basically every single uh, value at index i represents the value of any given stock on that particular day. And we want to make sure that we maximize our profit by uh, basically buying a stock at some particular day and selling it on a different day somewhere in the future and uh, we need to make sure that uh, we reach the maximum profit we could and basically if uh, the stock is always going in the loss if we are not making a profit uh, we need to return zero so okay friends so this is the given problem uh, for any particular stock and its prices on any given day and we are going to represent this in a graph so it makes sense for us to understand this problem better let me draw some graph points here. Now, if we were to plot the values of the given input array, uh, it would look something like this. So on day one, the price of the stock is $7. And on day two, uh, the price of the stock is, it fell down to one. On day three, it again goes up to the value five. And now let, let's also plot the lines when we uh, create the graph. So if we see on day from day one to day two, the price of the stock is going down. Uh, and uh, on, the, on day three, uh, it goes up in, in value. So green represents whenever the stock value goes up and red represents whenever stock value goes down. Um, on the next day, uh, the value is 3. So, once again, the value goes down. And uh, on day 5, the value of the stock goes up to 6. Now, on the last day, the value of the stock comes down to 4. Okay, now that we have our graph plotted, we are going to define few things. So first of all, let's try to understand the definition of uh, profit. Uh, basically, uh, profit means that uh, selling price minus buying price is equal to profit. And we want to make sure that we maximize our profit. Uh, in the given graph and from the example we can clearly see that if we were to buy our stock on day two and if we were to sell our stock on day five we can we can gain the maximum number of profit so here we are um, our buying price is at uh, one and our selling price is six so profit we are making is five, but uh, this is because uh, this is because uh, we keep on progressing based on time. We are not simply going through an array and seeing that what is the maximum difference between the max value and the min value. We are not doing that. Uh, if we were to do that. Uh, we can clearly see from the given example, uh, the maximum difference in the graph is actually uh, 7 minus 1, uh, which is here, uh, which actually comes out to 6, which is greater than our profit. But we are not going to use that because time flows in uh, one direction only and we can only, we cannot basically sell stocks uh, in the past or we can buy stocks in the future. Uh, so this, uh, this case is not going to work and uh, this is something that we need to keep in, keep in our mind. Now let's see that what could be our uh, algorithm for this given problem. And the answer is simple. This is a sliding window problem and a very easy sliding window problem where uh, we are going to keep track of two pointers and based on the two pointers, we are going to define certain values. 
so let's say the first pointer we we consider we consider it as by and we uh, set up this first pointer to the first value of the given array which is 7 and second pointer we consider which is self which at the initial level we would consider it as the second value in the given array at 1 and uh, we can also have one more parameter called profit and this profit basically will take will check that whether we need we what is the current profit we have and whether it is maximum profit that we can achieve or can we achieve something better now let's start the algorithm first of all uh, we can see that uh, if the buying price is at 7 and selling price is at 1 uh, we are not making any profit so it does not make sense for us to keep uh, the buying price at 7 and selling price at 1 uh, we move forward to the next uh, to the next value and if we were if whenever we see a dip uh, then cu our current buying value so our current buying value is 7 but if we see dip as uh, in the buying price we can it would make sense for us to update that value so now the new value for buying price would come as 1 and once we have our buying buying price as one, uh, we also move for we also move forward with our selling price, and our previous selling price was at uh, one, but we also update that to a next value, and we see if we increase the chances of us gaining some profit. So, if the next value over here is five. And if our selling value is five, we see that our profit, which was currently zero, now becomes four which is definitely greater than zero. So this buying value and this selling value makes sense for us. So we will keep them as it is and we will update our profit to four. Next next thing we are going to do is we will see that uh, if the buying value goes down. So over here we can see that the buying value falls down to uh, three, which is uh, it's going down. But is it less than what we currently have? that 3 is greater than 1 so it makes not it does not make sense for us to update the buying value so we would we would not be doing anything with that and if we see that uh, selling value we we do not need to update the selling value to 3 as well because if we do that our profit becomes uh, 2 which is less than what we currently have so we would simply move forward with our uh, to see that can we find a potential better selling value in future now next over here we see that selling value at six if we were to update the selling value uh, we can see that six is greater than five so it makes sense for us to update the selling pointer and if we update it we get our maximum profit as 5 which is greater than the 4 so we will update the update our maximum profit and now since we know that we have reached our best case we will still try to check that is that does there exist a next value where we can find a better profit and next value is 4 so it is it does not give us maximum profit and so in this case we can uh, consider that uh, the maximum profit we can achieve would be 5 and this would be our final solution now let's move on to coding okay let's start the coding for the given problem um, we will take two parameters buy and sell and we will set up buy as 0 and we will set up the sell as the first day and we will keep on incrementing because time is uh, moving in one direction so basically buy will always be less than uh, the value of sell and we also need a parameter for uh, to note that if we are recording the maximum profit or not so initially we will set it up as 0 and uh, now let's create a loop so here we need to start the loop from the first day and not from the zeroth day because we need to uh, see that what is the difference between the, if there is any difference between the first day and the zeroth day and uh, we will run the loop towards the end of the array. Plus plus. Now here basically we profit would be uh, 
we need to select the maximum value between uh, the current profit and uh, the well the difference in the stock prices from the buy and sell prices of sell minus prices of prices of buy now we need to check that whether we need to update the values of uh, buy and sell so say for example if we find that the current value of uh, sell is less than what we bought it for we'll basically update the value of buy so if the prices of uh, sell is less than the prices of buy we'll set up buy as sell and regardless of any uh, value update we will always need to update the value of sell by one because we need to make sure that buy should always be before sell so and we will just simply return the profit let's try to run over so okay our solution seems to be working let's try it submitting it and yes our solution works pretty fast and uh, it's really significant to the other uh, responses so hope you like the video uh, please leave a like and comment and it would really help out the channel thank you